I'm Jeroen Terbrugge, curator of the Maritime Collections at the Rijksmuseum. Like all of my colleagues, I work from home now, but digitally connected. Until recently, I worked on our collection of shipwreck finds, dating back to the 17th and 18th century. In our special collections department, we've made a small exhibition on this matter. Besides parts of the wooden structure of the ships, underwater archaeologists found tackle, ballast, uh, merchandise, but also personal belongings of the crew, the soldiers aboard and passengers. These personal items bring you in a very close contact to the people once aboard. It's a kind of sneaking into their personal lives, like you do now by watching the curator in his homely atmosphere. The most evocative object in this perspective, to my opinion, is this stocking. It was found at the sea bottom of the coast of Flushing, in the wreck of the Fliegend Hart, the speeding deer. It left Flushing in 1735 for Batavia, nowadays Jakarta in Indonesia. It ran on a sandbank, it sank, was completely demolished and all of the 250 people drowned. From 1981 onwards, archaeologists secured thousands of items from this wreck, including this stocking. It's made of silk and has some very neat knitted patterns. The most striking elements are, however, the heel and the toe side. Here one can see that this stocking had a second life. Its owner mended it, like I always do with my stockings, using my grandmother's darning mushroom. I assume that silk stockings were worn by wealthier people, like the officers aboard. But how to explain this repair? Was the owner a thrifty person? Or is this an example of second-hand use? <laughs> 